Okay, we, uh, we do have uh, almost 10 minutes for questions. Uh, we have microphones available. Alex Ding from Landon Rogers. Just a question for Jane. Um, you spoke about the problem with the age pension expenditures increasing over time, and obviously the introduction of superannuation was meant to hopefully address that and hopefully solve that particular problem. Is there any particular point in time in the future where uh, the self-funded retirees basically kick in and therefore the, there's a tailing off in expenditures on the age pension side? So the numbers that I outlined to you actually uh, take account of what is expected in terms of self-funding under the current superannuation settings. So that 4% real growth over the medium term, I can't remember what the long-term number is, but it's, it's, a, it's of that order. I, th I think it's three point something. I was only looking at these figures the other day. So uh, the current settings in terms of what people are currently investing in superannuation and what they expect to receive in income, no, it does not significantly offset that. We've already acknowledged that number. Uh, hi, Stephen Black from um, New South Wales Treasury. Uh, my question is to Warren and to Jane. I just, Warren, I thought you gave a very interesting overview of the economy. I did note that um, not once did you mention the size of the public sector deficit the public balance sheet as a concern or in any way related to the overall economy in fact. You did mention private sector debt several times, large mortgages and the like. Um, you mentioned that there are a number of projects that have been taken off the table and will need to be replaced, capital expenditure projects. So I wondered, Jane, you mentioned that we have to put the budget on a sustainable footing given the dynamics you mentioned around ageing populations, etc., and given, I think, the really the balance sheet position we have versus the rest of the world, which is frankly very good quality if you look at us versus America or the UK or other economies, what, what do you think, have, have, what thought have you put into what is sustainable for the Australian economy, given the headwinds that we do face and given the way that Warren and others look at the nature of the economy? Um, you know, it's obviously uh, Bez doing some work on uh, what is the right level of public sector debt, um, and there is various views on that. I don't think there's any hard and fast rules. Rating agencies have thresholds, etc. Um, in, in reference to the um, budget position as opposed to the balance sheet and the, the debt and so forth, um, my view is what the government's trying to achieve, achieve is utterly appropriate, and in fact, we need to do two things, in my opinion. We need to get our recurrent spending um, in order. We need to get our recurrent budget in order. And we need to run our balance in that. And then we need to spend billions on infrastructure. And I fear that we need to do this all around the world because I think there is a real chance that the private sector is not going to pull us out of this. So you can't do that, though. Um, until you get the recurrent side in order and the politics of that is that I think at the moment it's going to take, what, five to ten years. So I think that's the real issue that Jane outlined that the government's addressing and it would be great if we could just flick a switch and have a, the ongoing budget in, in order. But, you know, we basically put our budget into a position through a boom and that boom's gone. But in terms of government spending, I think this country and many countries around the world needs a needs government assistance with spending, and infrastructure is obviously um, the key way. Look, I mean, I, from our perspective, it's very simple. If you were running a household budget, <coughs> you, if you continue to put your groceries, your daily expenses on the credit card, there comes a point where your interest payment is going to consume everything you, you, you have. And so our recurrent expenditures on services, which essentially uh, we are putting on the credit card at the moment, we believe that's not sustainable and that's why returning our budget to surplus. Now I think the whole point about borrowing for infrastructure is an entirely separate question. But our, our view is quite simple, that in respect of uh, the structure of the budget, the budget does need, and let's put aside cyclical issues because we all understand that, uh, but the budget actually does need to come back to surplus. And the time it's going to take to do that, that you can discuss that with the political commentators next. Uh, but from the outline that I gave in terms of the things that are driving our expenditures, uh, knowing w what we expect as citizens, those are things which are going to have to be tackled. 
Okay, we've got, uh, we have another question. Uh, thanks, David Adams, Strategex. Jane, uh, thanks very much for uh, an illuminating talk. A uh, very brief comment about credit card. Be nice to have a credit card the size of the US, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, the, uh, as I said, uh, you had some very good charts up there, and I might not have remembered it correctly, but I think uh, you were showing a real projected real increase in per capita spending from about 17,500 to 19,000 by 1819, yep. which, as I recall, was without current budget measures. Yes. Presumably, current budget measures would reduce that. Would they actually flatten it or eliminate it entirely? Or if not, are we looking at something even stronger to eliminate that real increase? Uh, it took it to 18 and a half with the current budget measures. Um, so it, it does, but remembering that would have brought the budget back to surplus. But yes, the per capita expenditure still increases under those measures, after budget measures. Okay. Um, Look, we uh, we've got a great lineup after the uh, the tea break, so we will uh, we will cut it off there. Could you please uh, join me in thanking both uh, Jane and Warren for uh, fantastic insights? This